everybody and welcome or welcome back to the winning wallet my name is ellen here on this channel we know it's never too early and never too late to start taking good care of our finances and we are dipping into the final hopefully installment of the messiest cash condensing prop swap that maybe ever existed in the budgeting community. Just a couple of notes before we get started. If you would go ahead and check to make sure that your notification bell is hit and that you are subscribed, I would appreciate it uh, trying to get my content back out into the YouTube world. And also last time when we were finishing up the sinking funds of my short-term sinking funds, I actually had neglected, let me pull this in close, I had neglected to write in the $100 for the fun category that we did the prop swap for. So instead of $920, the true amount is $1,020. So I did fix that. And today, today, we are busting into the self-care binder and doing some condensing, doing some swapping out and seeing what we can manage. This binder is really set up as an, you know, from inspiration from the budgeting community. I had seen where several budgeters had set up a binder all for themselves. And I thought, oh my gosh, what a glorious thing to do. We know how I feel about self-care, whether it involves money or not. It Self-care doesn't need to involve money, but we may want to save for certain things in our lives. And I set one up also months and months ago uh, because I was so inspired by that. So this is the self-care binder. It has several envelopes inside. And the first one, let's go ahead and jump in, you guys, is friend time. So this could be going out to lunch, going out to breakfast or dinner, or anything really that involves spending time with friends. And let's see what we have here. Probably keep some of this in cash and might swap out some of it also. And I think I'm going to push this over just a bit and put this to the side if it will stay. There we go. So in friend time, we have 50, 70. Oops, are they? No, it's in order. Okay. Ooh, scared myself there. <laughs> Do you ever do that? Scare yourself? Here we go. 50, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 105, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. So 111. I am going to leave the larger bills and let's do, let's see if we can get $20. I don't think we can unless that's a five and it is. So we have five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And we're gonna swap this out for a $20 bill and make this envelope a little bit more workable. Sometimes when we stuff, we stuff smaller amounts, of course, and then our envelopes end up being so thick. They don't close. The binder doesn't close well. And so this is what we do. All right, let's take a look. 50, 70, 50, 70, 90, 100, 5, 10, and 11. I think we're going to leave this one here. Again, some of this will be staying in cash um, just, I do enjoy using cash. I think it helps me curb my spending a little bit. I do have a reward cash back credit card that I use, and I do pay off that balance every single month, but, um, sometimes I do want to have the cash on hand. So the next envelope is events. We have 50, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. I think we can do, let's do 100 here in prop swap because if I go to an event and buy a ticket, then I would be using my cashback credit card for that. So before I forget, before I forget friend time, we did no prop money. So let's see what we can do here. Um, 20, 30, 40, 50, 
60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we're going to leave $8. And let's do 20, 30, 40, 50. 20, 30, 40. Oops. Okay, I'm getting all confused again. 20, 30, 40, 50. So we will put this and swap this out for a 50 in prop. Put that to the side. Keeping it all straight, you guys. That's really the hard part. Counting and keeping it all organized. Okay, so we have 50 here. Then we have the regular real money 50. I think we are going to leave it at that, leave some small bills in here as well. So for events, we swapped out 50. Nice, nice. So we have 50, 100, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Hope this is correct. You all, of course, can let me know down below in the comment section if I make any mistakes. Hair. Hair, I pay in cash. I don't use my credit card because they charge me a fee. Um, I guess it's the credit card company that charges the business a fee, and that fee is passed on to customers. So I just use cash there, but we can certainly swap this out. So we have... 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100. And we have a real 100 back there. So that will help keep the envelope nice and tidy and not too thick. All right. So here we go, we have 130 in hair. Next up is going to be the envelope for my orchids. Now, I have a very small orchid collection and I have been saving because I want to add to my orchid collection, but I would be using a card for this most likely. I don't know that I would be paying cash. So let's take out that 50 just to help us. Um, hair, we didn't do any prop money in hair. So 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 81, plus the 50. So 131 all together. Let's do, I guess we will do 100 in prop and get this money back into the bank. So here we have 50, mm -hmm, 50, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100. So let's double check that. 50, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100. Great. Okay, so now we need two 50s in prop money. How are you guys doing? Are you ready for April? And then May, and then June, and summer? Oh my gosh, I am so looking forward to summer, you guys. You have no idea. <sighs> If you're a teacher, if you work in the school system in any way, shape, or form, I am sending you my best wishes always. It is not easy, you guys. I know you know that, so I'm not going to belabor the point except to say if you are in the educational system, I am thinking of you and sending you my best. So in orchids, we swapped out 5100. And then in regular money, we have the 20, 25, 30, and 31 for a total of 131. Okay, next comes self-care. This is an envelope that could be used for anything. Let's see what we have. 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 30, 40, 150, 160, 170, 180, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So we have 186. We're gonna pull out the six. And so we have 180 to play with here. Hmm, what do we wanna do? Let's do, let's get rid of these fives, first of all. And the ones, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, or seven, three, 39, 40. So let's pull 
let me see, let's pull two 20s to make up the 40. Messy money, messy money. And putting this back in with the fives and the ones. There we go. Let's see what else we have left here. Hmm. So for self-care, I'm just trying to estimate what I would need cash for and what I would be putting on credit for the rewards. I feel like I'm saying that every time. <laughs> I think you all get it. So let's do 50, 70, 90, and 100 in prop in addition to the 40 we just did. So 50, 70, 90, 100, and that will leave just a little bit of cash available, but will also give me, let's get that there, give me some that I know we have dedicated already back into the account to use to earn those cash back rewards. So let's count. We have 50, 70, I need some of that sort quick. I do have some, I just don't have it near me. 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 130, 135, and 36. Okay, that one felt pretty good. Okay, next is Amazon. Amazon, I do use my card for. This whole thing can get changed into swap, or at least a good part of it. So we have 150, 170, 190, and let's do 200, and you know we have to double count. One, 150, 170, 190, 200. And we will turn this right back into swap and get this money back into the bank. So, Amazon 100. I forgot to write down what we did for self-care, so I'll go back and check that. Let's get our 100, so we have 50 and one. So 51, 120, 125, six and seven in Amazon. So in our self-care, we did a total of 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 in prop. You all need to remind me when I skip my tracking, just let me know. Say, hey, Elle, you missed one. Get to it, girl. Okay, Etsy. I did um, take out money from this envelope because I have been making some purchases from Etsy. Nothing too extravagant, but still. So I think we're gonna leave this alone. We have 20, 35, six, seven, eight, nine, 40. Okay, next comes my face. Any products I need for my face? I actually do use cash a lot of the time in the um, drugstore or I might place an online order. Let's see what we have. 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 570, 580. So let's do, hmm. So this should be 40. 10, 20, 30, 40. So I think we'll keep one real 20 and then prop 20. A little bit of both and we'll get these back in there there is a real art to cash condensing you guys and I am a total novice so bear with me as we get through this we only have a couple of more delight delight is a category that I admired from Jacqueline and her channel name budgeting with PJ and um, I saw this in one of her videos, oh gosh, has to be a year ago now, and I thought, what a perfect category for anything that causes us to feel delight. I thought that that was delightful. So here we go, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3. So I think we're going to leave 
some of this in cash. Let's do, hmm, let's do, here's 100. So I think we'll do 100 in prop. So two tens makes 20, 40, 60, 80, one. Let's see if we have any 50s back here. We still do. And then this should be 50, is that right? 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. And I am going to pull in a regular 50 for that. So we have 10. Get in there, little guy. And then our fives. There we go. And our ones. Messy, messy, messy. Okay, so in Delight, we are trading in. We are now using prop money in the amount of 100, but total we have 100, 150, 1, 2, and 3. Next comes Pamper. To me, similar to Delight. Let's see what we have here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. I think I'm leaving this right as is, you guys, because a lot of these envelopes have the larger bills, and should I need something, or should something just kind of come to mind that I wanna go out and get, I would like to have some small bills available. So we're going to leave this one as is. And next comes clothes. I do need to beef this up, you guys, because I'm hoping that for summertime I can do a little bit of shopping. However, we certainly do not need um, the real deal in here because I do a lot of online shopping. So let's get some prop money for this 200. So we have 250. Mm. So we'll have to use 20s, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 82. Wow, I'm almost out of prop money. Never saw that one coming. Okay, so 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 1, 2, and 3. So for summer... I have a couple of months to really focus on getting that one beefed up a little bit. And then travel. We do have some prop already in here from last year's travel money that we didn't spend. So we have one, two, three, four in prop already. And let's see what we have. 100, let's pull that 50 out. 100, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 6, 7, 8, 9, 200. So let's double check that. Okay, so this is 200. And I don't have large, oh, I don't like that. I don't have large prop money. But let's see what, well, you know what? Do I have 200 left? Yeah, I think I do. Okay. Okay, so all together, what we just did was swap out $200, but we already had one, two, three, and four. Then we have this 50, so we have 400 here, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 6, 50, one, two, three, and four, messy. Oh my goodness, you guys. 
I commend any budgeter, any cash stuffer, any YouTuber who is willing to go on camera and do this in front of the world. It is not easy, but you guys, look at that. All of this can go right back to the bank. Um, most cash stuffers count this at the end, but you guys, I just don't have the mental and emotional space to do that right now. I will, of course, do that and compare it with the totals that we have. Let's go ahead, let me grab my calculator, and we will total this bottom binder, the self-care binder for what we swapped out. Okay, so that binder in total, $860. So let's add up the grand total and see what is going back to the bank, back into my savings and money market. So here we have 1,020, then we have 1,650, and now we have 860. So total, you guys, 3,000. $530. Now, I have to tell you, this has not come overnight. This is not an overnight process. Cash budgeters, budgeters, those of us who work at this consistently, this can take months, years. This is small amounts over time adding up. The choice to use Prop money is definitely a personal choice based on preference. I have been resistant to prop money in the past. If you have seen any of my other videos, you already know that. However, what becomes even more important is making good financial decisions. And having this much cash in the house not only creates a safety issue, but it's money that could be earning interest, that would be a dividend, that would be reinvested on top of everything in my money market that would be making me even more money. So financially, it's just a wise decision. And you guys, that's going to wrap it up for the colossal three-part messy cash condensing. Oh my goodness gracious. Let me know down below how you're doing. Happy April to you. I'm wishing you the best. Take good care. Take good care of yourself. And we know it's never too early and never too late to start taking good care of our finances also. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And until next time, my friends, bye for now.